This is Lloyd Athern. I'm here on Mount Sneffels. It's a beautiful day in the San Juans. I'm here because Sneffels is one of what's generally referred to as the entry level third class 14ers. A couple things that you need to keep in mind when you're getting into this terrain. One, there's a lot more loose rock. And because of that, I always wear my trusty climbing helmet. This protects your head from rockfall. Another thing that's really important to remember when you're in third class terrain is what we would call situational awareness. That's a term that pilots use. It's making sure that you understand where you are in relation to the land around you. You're not following a constructed and planned trail anymore. There might be, in fact, several climber routes that have evolved over the years. Some of them might be easy to follow, others might be very intermittent. For a climber, it oftentimes means if you've gone up a gully or a snow couloir, you need to remember which one it is that you've gone up. There might be multiple ones. Always try to be aware of if you make a turn, stop and look around, turn 360 degrees and really understand what it is that you came up and where you turned and what it's gonna look like when you're coming down, not just what it's like when you're going up. It's advised that you always have what's called three points of contact. So that means that you're only moving one hand or foot at a time. That gives you three that are on something that you've proven is already stable. If you have multiple points of contact, that's gonna make you more stable and able to withstand something coming loose without you losing balance and falling. You're going to be moving more slowly in this terrain than if you're on a, a trail. You're usually in steeper terrain. You're also in terrain that's more likely to have what we call exposure, which is where it just drops off steeply. You're more committed. You need to be more aware of how much time it's taking you to get up because it's probably going to be maybe even a little bit slower coming down. Ensure that you have adequate time built in so that if the weather turns, uh, you have the ability to get down safely because the minute it starts raining or snowing or sleeting, your steeper, more treacherous slopes are going to be harder to go over. We're higher up on Sneffels now, almost to the saddle and the start of what's the, the lavender couloir. This is on the steeper second class terrain. Lots of loose pebble-like scree. This is why having trekking poles is really helpful on a, a climb like this. We also have over here more to the climber's left, a larger talus. Now that can in some ways be blockier and in some ways a little more stable surface, but those rocks can also shift and turn. The route here goes up to that dark rock face and then up the couloir, but there are other gullies that, that will go up the mountains. And it's not uncommon for people to get confused. Uh, they might be anxious and, and think something is the route and turn early. These numerous gullies are also going to be extremely critical when we're coming down because we have to remember to retrace our steps and not come down the wrong one. So we're here at the uh, saddle looking up at the lavender couloir. Um, you can see there are some people higher up uh, headed towards the crux of the climb. A little earlier we had groups going up and groups coming down. You have the potential for parties above you kicking rocks down on you. You can also kick down rocks, so you need to be aware of if you dislodge a rock, you need to yell out, rock! This is also a good point to talk about conditions and how they can change on a mountain. You're going to have usually twisting routes, routes that go through narrower places and opportunities to have very different conditions on the ground in terms of snow, scree, talus. You might still have snow up here in July. I'm gonna head up a little higher here and take a look at the, the crux, which is really the point in the climb that's the hardest and most difficult. And it's the thing that you have to overcome if you're gonna make your way to the summit. Now we are looking up at the crux of the climb. After we get past this first little rock outcrop, there's a bit of a gap with a nice drop down. And we have to go up through that little spot there. Plenty of holds in it, but it's very, it can be very awkward. We've made it through the notch. We did our little scramble up here to the summit, and now we're sort of enjoying this, uh, this beautiful day in the San Juans. Ah, ah, Colorado. This is why people climb 14ers. <laughs> 